All right. Um, let me show you how I would be inclined to approach this model. Let's first clean up a few things here. Um, I'm going to edit this power feature. Now, I'm going to delete this part for now. And I believe you could do this part the same way that I'm doing, that I'll show you to do the other part. But we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let you figure, you we'll can probably figure that out. So let's, let's do that. Um, I'm going to clear all the references. Now that I've got the references cleared, I'm going to select these guys and I'm going to make them hard edges. I'm going to make those crease edged crease vertices to give me this kind of a shape. Now, I don't know um, if you click this button here, you can then double click and you'll get this edge. Now, I don't know whether you want that one straight or creased. It looks like right now it's each of those is pretty straight because it's on the end. Um, so I guess I'm going to leave it that way for now, um, and then we'll we'll figure it out later. Okay, so let me let me convert this. We'll have to come back to this guy and and, and modify it a little bit more um, to make sure it covers things. Now I'm going to roll back to. here. Now at this point we have the basic outline that we need. So I am going to make a plane on that face. I hope. <laughs> Last time I did this it was an offset plane. Don't quite understand that. Um, uh, insert reference geometry plane. See I don't I don't understand that why that's an offset. Oh, maybe that's it right there. Ah, there it is. It just did an offset of that plane. So there it is. Um, I'm also going to flip the flip the direction. Oh, flip the offset. How do I flip the direction? Oh, there it is. Flip normal. Okay. So I'm going to extrude up from that. Um, Now I'm assuming these cylinders and stuff and these cuts, we can all do those pretty easily um, in SolidWorks. So I'm not gonna worry about those for now, um, but I'm gonna try and create a solid to start with and then you can cut the holes. So let's keep this plane and then with the plane, we're gonna create a sketch on the plane. Yeah, some. Somebody called me on my phone there. Uh, so I'm going to say uh, convert entities. And then I'm going to pick these edges here. Let's see if that's a closed plane. Yes, it's shaded, so it's a nice closed thing. We got all the edges. And then I'm going to simply extrude it. Um, it's going to make sure it goes far enough. Because uh, we're going to cut that top off anyway, so I can go as far as I want there. All right. Now that we have that, Let's roll down to power feature and take a look at it. OK, 
Okay, the power feature is in there somewhere. And um, so can't do much with it right now because it's it's exactly on the inside. But if I go into here, um, and I edit it. Uh, looks like I need to pull a few of these things out a little bit. So I'm just going to like double select there. Whoops, uh, let's do the loop thing. Double select that edge. And I'm just going to pull it out far enough so that it, it all intersects. Well, maybe that's a little too far, but you get the idea. So it's it's definitely out past that. Do the same here. The same here. And I move this vertex out a little bit just to make sure that's in there. Okay, so looking pretty good so far. Um, Okay, grab those edges. Gonna move them out this way a little bit. Probably did not need to move these quite as much. And I'm sure that you, you may want to come in and adjust those to get exactly what you want, but this will give you the general idea of how to do it. Um, okay, now I'm gonna convert. And I'm simply going to do a face replace on that face. Uh, it's in surfaces. Um, replace face. So that's that one. And then we want to replace it with this guy. And let's see if that works. Yes, it does. So now we have a, a nice solid um, that corresponds to yeah let me let me hide this so now we have a nice solid body that is I believe what you want to start with and then you can go from there and, and throw in the features and then if you needed to do if you needed to do that stuff on the end you could probably do it and replace this face as well um, I believe you could also do a trim so let me let me try that I'm just kind of goofing around here so I'm not hundred percent sure we can but let's give it a try. Let's try this with a surface trim instead of a, um, a replace face. So let us delete the replace face for now. And I'm going to like delete the top face here. Okay, so now I have two surface bodies. Turn this back on, and I believe I can do a trim surface. Okay, that's the trim tool is the power feature, and then we want to keep this section. Okay, now... I think we need to trim the other way as well. I wonder if there's an option to do that in the trim tool. Uh, mutual. Aha. Um, Okay, that's a keep section. Let's say remove section. Let's remove that that top section. Oops, maybe not. Okay, remove section. Okay, so let's remove this section and then that section. That's a pretty 
powerful tool. And then I could even say create a solid here, I think. Uh, let's give that a try. Ta-da! It worked. Um, a little surprise. That's a pretty good tool. I've never, uh, I've never done it that way before. Um, but I believe that's a nice solid. And so there's another way that you can do it if you just have the surfaces there. Um, the key to make this work is, you know, what I did, making sure these edges of this surface are outside of the, you know, go all the way outside there, and then it seems to work. 